yeah. to tell you the truth, I could care less about this certain war story. I just want to see my whole boy Spider-Man in this universe, especially since Amazing Spider-Man 2 sucked. So, John, what do you think of uh, Tom Holland being cast as Spider-Man? Do you think for the better? I don't know. To be honest, I, have, I don't have much of an opinion because even, to be honest, the Amazing Spider-Man wasn't that impressive. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't really. Tom Holland, wasn't he the kid who did, like, uh, uh, what was that space movie? Fuck. No, I think that was the other guy who was up for Spider-Man. Yeah. There was another kid who looked really cool, too. Like a, like, like a smaller kid. It would have been cool to see, like, a really tiny Spider-Man. You know, like yeah. Spidey anyway. size. Like a spider size. Anyway, so moving on. Next up is X-Men Apocalypse. <clears throat> now, I like X-Men Days of Future Past, although it does tend to be overrated. And I was actually looking forward to this one. But the more I think of it, I have become more and more skeptical of this movie. Apocalypse was the villain I was looking forward to seeing the most in the X-Men movies. And now we're finally getting him in this movie, looking less like Apocalypse and more like I am an ooze from Mighty Morphin Power in just a movie. <laughs> There will also there will also be no Chief Jackman as Wolverine in this movie. I know he's busy starting in the next Wolverine movie, which will also be the last time we will see Chief Jackman playing the character, unfortunately. But honestly, I think he should have been in this movie, especially since, if I'm not mistaken, Wolverine did play a huge part in the comics when Apocalypse came into the picture. Okay. I don't know if any of you read the X Men comics, so you know. I, I think I'd be more excited about this movie if I was in it because I was actually supposed to be in this movie and I had to leave for vacation the day it shot. And it shot, believe it or not, at my high school. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Other people got to go and so they said it was can. interesting. Instead of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, we are getting... Jennifer Lawrence as a mystique in the team. Honestly, Damn. although Jennifer Lawrence is not a bad actress, even though she does tend to be a character, her portrayal of mystique was one of the issues I had with Days of Future Past. Okay. In, in my honest opinion, Rebecca Romaine was a better mystique and had a presence of her that ultimately made a more like mystique from the comics and the animated show from the 90s. Jennifer Lawrence just seems like a mystique cosplayer, if anything. There are things that I do like about the movie so far, like Sophie Turner playing the young Jean Grey. The one thing that I, believe it or not, that I look forward to the most is Olivia Munn's Sally. Yeah, yeah. say what you will about her as an actress, although I did see her in the newsroom. Yeah, she was pretty good in that. She'll probably nail the role like the character, and she has at least shown progress of how dedicated she is to playing Sarah. Plus, if you look back at some of the best comic book movie roles, like Michael Keaton's Batman, and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, and Chris Evans' as Captain America, etc., they all had fan criticism prior to the movies coming out, but once and some of the performances, all skepticism will roll off as all those people rock in the roles they play. Yeah. And I, I do have a feeling that Olivia Munn, from what I've seen so far, will be a sound. Other than that, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to this. Next up, this is, we got another stink. We got another stinker. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, a.k.a. Super Chubs 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Looks just as awful as the previous Ninja Turtles film. Just sick. Fresh with turtle tank smell. Damn. Next up, Warcraft. This, this one I think is like five years too late. What? Warcraft? Yeah. 
Now, most movies based on video games have been terrible. The only one that we have all seen that we all think is a great movie and adaptation is Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Now, with that being said, Warcraft actually looks okay. It's not great, but at least it looks like it's source material and a huge step up from most video games. It's like Street Fighter, Double Dragon, Resident Evil. I'm not really the most hardcore. I'm not really the most hardcore fan of Warcraft, so I don't really have much else to say about it. Next up is Suicide Squad. Much like Warcraft, I didn't follow the source material that much, so I don't really know what to say about this one. All I can say is that Margaret, Margaret Robbie looks like she would be a great part of the queen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would also like to see, um, what's that girl from, um, that show? Veronica Mars there. Kristen Bell. Yeah, I would like to see her too, maybe as a Harley. But you know, Mar Margot Robbie looks okay. Yeah. Anyways, next up is Doctor Strange. <laughs> I have not read a single Doctor Strange com I've not read a single Doctor Strange comic. It's kind of being a huge Marvel fan. In fact, I'm more Marvel than I know DC. If you know in case you didn't know that already, what do you do? Yeah. But, I, yeah. but regardless, I do have faith that this would be another example of an obscure Marvel character being turned into a good movie. Like previous examples like Blade, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Ant-Man. Yeah. 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 The guy playing Doctor Strange is this guy named Benedict Cumberbatch, who's like this British guy. Some of, uh, a friend of mine thinks he loathes him, and he thinks he's very overrated, but I shall reserve judgment until I actually see the movie and those performances there. Yeah, he was, the, he was the dragon in The Hobbit, and um, Khan in uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. Yeah. Yeah. And Finally on this list is Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is another video game movie set to be released this year. So far, no trailers have been released, but from the production clips, casting, and information, the art of the movie, it already looks like another step up from most video game movies. And who knows, it could very well be one of the better video game movies. Although I still think World of Combat would be the best one, the best thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that wraps it up for the comic book video game adaptations coming out here this year that I thought we talking about. What are your thoughts so far? Well, <clears throat> I, will, I can't wait to see Olivia Munn. She's always great on screen she's she's always got good uh charismatic about her like in the roles that she plays when they yeah, give her something she usually plays it really well so yeah. and if we, you see those videos of her training for x-men and really taking on the fight choreography i think i think she could do it yeah yeah we'll see <laughs> And Hugh Jackman. So I've been man. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see if I can find him here. Did I get a message yet? Let me see here. Which is the one? Which is the one that you look forward to most, and which is the one that you look forward to least? Oh, he says he's coming on. The one I look forward to the most. Yeah. Out of out of out of uh, what we had here. Out of the list. Yeah. Let me see here. Well, a new Street Fighter would always be cool. Batman versus Superman. I'm interested, but I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% on it now that I know where they're going with Doomsday. 
Because, you know, like, for me, that would have been, like, the Holy Grail story to tell, right? And they just yes. fucked it all up. Yeah. Um, maybe Captain America. I'm reserved on that. It would be nice to see Black Panther. And also, it's kind of weird because um, Ryan Coogler uh, was, is rumored to be involved with Black Panther now. And Stallone canceled him out of Creed 2, even though it's his baby to do Creed 2. Stallone just canceled him out of that. And then Stallone just canceled himself out of Creed 2. Yeah. Which doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. He just destroyed that whole franchise. As as fast as he got, you know... Faster than you can say fuck. Yeah, as fast as he got good recognition, he just threw it out the window there. Doctor Strange, don't want to see it. Assassin's Creed, don't want to see it. Ninja Turtles 2... I don't really want to see it, but I'm curious to see if Krang will be in it or what they'll do with it. Kind of like the first one, I didn't really want to see it, but I went to see it anyway just because I was like, you know, just to see what it was going to be like. But, uh, that, the first one totally fucked everything up. And this one just kind of feels like they're grasping at straws to make, you know, to fix that problem. I don't know why they have two shredders, two different shredders. That just doesn't make sense. Warcraft, I don't want to see. Suicide Squad, eh. Maybe as much as I want to see Batman versus Superman, but I really don't like fucking Jared Leto, so. He's like, in my opinion, probably going to be the worst Joker ever, even though he has a very mob, mob thing going on for him in this movie, you know. I wouldn't mind seeing uh, I wouldn't mind seeing Mortal Kombat, but like you guys were saying the other day, I don't trust them to do it. So I guess Captain America is probably the one I'm looking forward to most. Especially, I can't wait to see the new what the new Spider-Man looks like, since they've been saying that they're gonna alter the suit and all that. So I'm interested. Okay, and you, John, and uh, you, John, which one is the one you look forward to the most, and which one is the one you look forward to the most? None. <laughs> None? <laughs> okay. I'm just being honest. I can really hear you, by the way, I'm just... Oh. I'm not thinking about that, but, uh... Alex. Oh, really? Well, you can barely hear me? Yeah. Hold on here. Just check any audio. Audio. Seat. I don't know if it's a, a noise distortion in the background or something. Or it's coming in a little bit bassy on this side. I don't know if that's like the Skype connection. Do you want? Do you want me to hang up and redo it again? I don't know. Do you have a fan going or something? Possibly. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, it was just the background was kind of, um, there's like, when, when I was watching TV. I had the dryer on. It might be that. Oh, no, you're yeah, fine. It's, it's not bad. I just, I don't know. I turned all orange. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's all I was about to say. one that I look forward to most. It comes no surprise. It's Street Fighter vs. Oh, oh. oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm answering call. Okay, let's let's okay. do this. That's all saying, John. Another thing is, if they're bringing they're bringing Spider Man in, right and. Yeah. Isn't in that Civil War, isn't that later on when Spider-Man reveals himself? So it doesn't make sense that they're doing his premiere, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, here comes Wild Man. Alright. Mars Satellite Transmitting. Broadcast Beam. From space to Final Fantasy. <laughs> Let's see... Let's see if we get him here. Can you hear me, John? 